What's up, yo? Back with another video teaching y'all how to create graphic designs from your mobile device. Now, I got some different type stuff for y'all today, but you know, it's in the same category as graphic design. We're going to be working on a YouTube banner. Without further ado, I need y'all to smash that like button. I need y'all to subscribe, leave a comment, tap that bell notification so you get notifications on new upcoming videos. Yo, bro. It's understood, don't gotta be explained. Let's get started. All right. So now we're into it. First thing we're gonna do is I'm going to show y'all how we knock out the background of a picture. So I'm gonna use one of the um, pictures right here. Boom. If y'all need to see that back in the uh, slow motion, you can just run it back, but it's a smooth, easy process. You pick the first tab when, uh, icon. But right now we're in the studio and we're loading the um, background that we're going to use. Now this background will be linked in the description. Um, as far as resolution specs, I forgot what the resolution specs was for the banner. So I'll just leave them in the, the description. But right now you can see that I'm just... Uh, adding all the photos that I use and by the way I knocked out the background of these photos all using that same app pro knockout but you know just placing them and stuff so now I'm in Fonto opening it up with a blank background and now I'm about to add some text because you know we got to create that uh, lettering for the banner so I just find a uh, font that I'm gonna go ahead and go with I was thinking about it but I was like nah that's a new font by the way I've been meaning to use it but I haven't got around to it I might create a video in the future new video on fonts but let me know if that's something y'all interested in and the name of this font right here that I just went with that I chose this font right here will be linking, uh, will not be linking in the description, but will be mentioned in the description. That's where you can find it. So boom. This is the text right here. I'm just gonna make it bigger. Let me center it. And then I did say I wanted to add some colors. So I typed on style. And then I just went through a whole, like, mirage of just trying stuff but eventually these are the colors that I came down to choosing just to go ahead and match with that background now if you need the uh, color codes y'all let me know and I'll drop them in the description as well but then I go ahead and then I add a border around it boom save that now we're back in the studio and we're gonna load it in. You see me? Just playing with it a little bit. That's, this is when I went back into, um, Fonto to play uh, with the settings a little bit, changed the background to a brighter neon green, and this really made it pop, so I was like, boom, yeah, we're definitely going to go with this. And by the way, he loved the banner, y'all, so you feel me? I know what the, uh, I know how to, I know how to get y'all right, you feel me? Y'all know what we talking about over here. Life of Dave, they better behave, know your place got more heat than a fireplace. Ooh, better tie your lace before you run this race. Before we eat our food, we gotta say our grace. Knocking next door, but I don't leave a trace. Ooh, hey, but back to what I'm saying though. What I'm saying though. So you see, we copied it, and I added that copy over um, the middle image of him. And now I'm changing the blend to get that overlay effect. So it's showing his hand. You feel me? Then I played with the opacity of it, which is just the transparency, aka how much you can see the photo. And I decided to just leave it at zero, zero because, you know, 
I mean, or I should say 100 because it didn't need to be changed. But after that, if you look at it, it looked fine. Play with the stuff a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. Now we're going to add some icons. We're going to add this Instagram icon. And we're just going to go ahead and add a snap icon. These icons, y'all can find them on Google. Just search up whatever you're looking for and put in PNG. It's that easy. But these specific icons that I use will be linked in the description as well. Unless I can't find them again, then I just leave some that look similar like it. But boom, boom, boom. We're just going to go ahead and save this right here. Hopping into Fonto again. We're going to load it. This is so that we can uh, add the uh, usernames for your socials. Trying to find something nice. Mm -hmm. Boom. And we're just going to make that way smaller. Get that white. And then boom. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's add another one. Just like that, move it. And then it's good, we're gonna go ahead and save that. Hop in the uh, Adobe Photoshop Express, PS Express. Nevertheless, we the best above the less, not the rest. <laughs> but hey, I'm gonna hop into effects and we're gonna slide over and add some Vignette just to give it a little bit more pop and this about to be that little final touch you feel me this little white line showing up at the at the bottom there i'm not too sure about it might be a rendering issue but hey i probably shouldn't have that problem if i do just crop it bow 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 we're just gonna go ahead and say that you see that you see that that's a large that's ooh, ooh, oh uh, Man, that's hard right there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, that's it, y'all. If y'all like this video, I need y'all to smash that like button and leave a comment. Tap that bell notification so you get notifications on new videos, y'all. Like, you know, keep it, keep it, keep, keep up with me, y'all, and share this to a friend.